Morning everybody. I uh, just left the Quality Inn here downtown Waynesboro. Walking over to Stanimals Hospital. I was gonna say hospital. Stanimals Hostel to catch a shuttle back to Rockfish Gap. So I'll be solo for a few days because my guys are aqua blazing, so they'll be in kayaks. I'm going down the Shenandoah, but I'm walking because I got burgers and milkshakes waiting for me at the uh, uh, at the waysides anyway. So y'all have a good one. Keep it posted. Talk to you soon. Coming up out of Rockfish Gap, going into Shenandoah National Park. We are officially in Shenandoah National Park. Oh man, another bunny with a baby bunny. Oh. All right, well I'm three and zero for bunnies today. Coming up on rabbits five and six. Man, I almost like it up here, huh? Communication towers here. Oh, some chairs. How nice is that? Definitely gonna check for ticks when I get out of this. Got the little summit of uh, summit of Little Calf Mountain. See those towers out there? That's where we came from earlier. Yeah, almost to the shelter. Gonna stop, take a little lunch break. Hey, dear. Summit of Black Rock Mountain here in Shenandoah. Thousands. That's too cool. Yeah, have you. Best way to start your morning, hands down, is climbing up the mountain. So, good morning, y'all. Yeah, we uh, we left Black Rock Hut about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 ago. And going, I think just 13 miles total today. I did 20 miles yesterday from Rockfish Gap to Black Rock Hut. And my knee, left knee was like, why did you do that? I wasn't too impressed. So we're taking it easy today, doing 13. And I think there's trail magic at the shelter later, which would be pretty awesome. There's also a camp store that I'm gonna come to in about eight miles. I'll stop there for lunch, get some snacks, and see what's up. So, anyway, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, I guess Bye. I found the part of Shenandoah they talk about. Where's like, oh yeah, you just cruise right through it because the climbs, the trail looks like this just about everywhere, but those climbs are just kind of just long, drawn out uphill just slogs the downhills aren't bad so far just day two here but yeah this is cruising terrain here just walking this ridge line it's very nice very nice walking 
heading down to the <clears throat> Loft Mountain Camp Store. See what kind of goodies they got. Just stopped at the Loft Mountain Camp Store. Got some Cheez-Its and some M&Ms and a Pepsi. So I ate that and walking back to the trail. But check out this cool little amphitheater they got right here next to Loft Mountain. Morning everybody. So we just left um what's the name of that Pinefield Hut. This guy that comes by and does trail magic brought pizzas, like little Caesars and beers and stuff to the shelter. So had a couple slices of pizza, had a PBR, and basically called it an early night. I was tired. So that was 13 miles yesterday, so I'm doing a bigger day. Doing about 20 miles. Trying to get to this campground. That um, looks pretty nice. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. I'll keep you posted, and we'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye. Yeah, nine. I was gonna say one thousand, nine hundred miles. Uh, it's technically seven forty because I have miles to make up. That's still something. Should be hitting thousand mile mark next week. Super excited. Stay tuned. Yeah, crazy day today. Did 20 miles, got that in. Set up the tent in quite the rainstorm. Um, insane thunder and lightning when I got here. So anyway, <clears throat> got me tucked in for now. And I'm gonna get some water later. I'm gonna call it an early night. So, so have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> so we uh, survived last night. That was a. Uh, that was probably one of the most intense thunderstorms I've seen in a long time, much less camped in. The tent did great, it kept me dry. A couple times in the night I had to hang on to my trekking pole. When that wind came through, it was bad. But we're good, so heading to Big Meadows Wayside in about seven miles, hopefully get a hot meal and some more snacks to take with and uh, then doing about five more miles to a hut after that so hopefully the sun will come out start drying things out y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon all right bye a couple deer out here Big little fella. What's up, buddy? You're pretty. Yeah. Hello. What's up, y'all? So we are walking to I say we, it's me and this other guy I met last night. Since uh, So what it is, is my buddies are doing what's called aqua blazing, which is kayaking, basically canoeing. The Shenandoah River up to Front Royal, which basically cuts out all hiking of the Shenandoahs. But I told myself a long time ago it wasn't gonna do that, and they knew I wasn't gonna do that. 
So anyway, crazy storm we had last night, as I was saying earlier. Um, so we're on the way to Big Meadows Wayside, and I am so excited. Hopefully they got burgers or sodas or something awesome going on there. <clears throat> and I need to get some more snacks too. So I'm out of stuff that I don't have to cook. <clears throat> so anyway, when we get there, I'll check in with you guys. Anyway, have a good one. Bye. Coming up on Big Meadows, finally. Hey, what's up, y'all? So we left, uh, what was it, Big Meadows Wayside shortly ago. I had a cheeseburger and fries. I had a tall Corona, a Gatorade. I got a bunch of snacks to take with me because I needed food. And then I went back and got an Italian little sandwich and chips and some M&Ms and a Pepsi. I'm hungry. So anyway, beautiful day. Got, was able to dry out my socks and stuff from last night. They got wet. So, it's been a beautiful day. Anyway, take it easy. Talk to you soon. Bye. Just leaving Rock Spring Hut. Uh, sat, had coffee this morning. It was nice. It's about 7 a.m. And as I'm here, there's a bunch of deer. Like, there's two of them like chasing each other. And there's a little baby. Like five deer hanging out here. They were just running through the woods a minute ago. So anyway, I get a picture of them. So, Y'all have a great day. Oh yeah, I'm doing about 15 miles today. Susan's picking me up tomorrow. I'm super excited. There we go. Yeah, going into Front Royal tomorrow for a day. So that'd be nice. Anyway, y'all have a good Friday. Get ready for the weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye. Is this a glimpse into what New Hampshire holds for us? I don't know. Hopefully that's not the trail this is. But man, look at all those rocks. Walking up to Skyland Resort. <clears throat> I think this is Skyland Stables. Looks like it anyway. Looks like a little horse area. I don't see any horses yet though. If I do, Susan, don't worry. I'll take a picture. I'm here at Skyland Resort. Well, I'm 0.7 miles away from it. I don't really feel like going seven tenths of a mile. I don't really need anything there. So I'm gonna keep on pushing. So anyway, it was cool seeing that horse though. Miss, makes me miss uh, my dually bug back home in Spartan and Fleet. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Talk to you soon.
So we just left Skyland Resort uh, a few minutes ago. I had a, uh, they were still open for breakfast. It's kind of a fancier place because it's part of the resort. But I got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich with some mediocre potatoes, which is fine. And a, uh, I had Starbucks coffee too, so I had one of those. That was nice. So I'm just cruising right along. I've got about nine, probably more miles to go today. And uh, so yeah, it's a nice little ride until we start climbing up eventually, I'm sure. So y'all have a good one. Talk to you soon. No views up here today, but still pretty cool. Just all socked in, like into the nothing, into the abyss. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Forgot about this little guy that I picked up at the wayside. Hopefully sleep a little easier tonight. Yeah. Bye. Good morning everybody. We are just leaving past Mountain Hut and we're going seven miles to Elk Wallow Wayside. Hopefully I can get a coffee or something good to eat there and wait for Susan to come pick me up at about 12, 1230, something like that and go into front row with her so i'm super excited for that today it's gonna be a nice day so anyway you guys have a good day and uh, enjoy the weekend and we'll talk to you soon all right Morning everybody, back on trail today, it is Sunday, June 26th, uh, Susan just dropped me back off on trail at Elk Wallow uh, Wayside, had a great time with Susan as always, it's really hard saying goodbye to her, but I'll be back soon, I'll see her again in a couple weeks. When I'm in Pennsylvania, yeah, getting there, y'all. Coming close to the thousand mile mark soon. Should be hitting that next week. So, anyway, it's hot. It's like 10 o'clock. So, it's gonna be a muggy one today, but we'll get through it. So, hope y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. What's up everybody <clears throat> and just like that we are out of the Shenandoahs we finished Shenandoah National Park yesterday got a crazy thunderstorm late in the day <clears throat> I was only planning to do 12 miles but I decided to push 20 to get here <clears throat> to Front Royal <clears throat> so I uh, got to a shelter late in the day 
and this young fella came up and was saying that he was getting slack packed by his parents who were picking him up at the gap <clears throat> near about three miles up. And so I was like, hey, are you guys going to Front Royal by chance? And they said, yeah. So uh, I was able to get a ride with him and his folks, which was amazing. So thank you, Maverick and your parents. I forgot their names. Um, so they took me here to the Super 8. So I got in here last night. I'm staying here again today. It is Monday the 27th. So I'll be getting back out on trail tomorrow <clears throat> and uh, should be in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia uh, by this weekend, coming weekend. So anyway, hope you guys have a great Monday and a great start to your work week. And I'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a good one. All right. Bye.